All right, welcome back. So this is a problem from this year's HMMT Invitational 2025.3. Um, I was just fighting with problem five, so I'm a little tired, but I've been assured that I will get this problem in less time. Uh, honestly, that was not what I wanted to. Um, ABC is a par ABC is a parallelogram. So we'll just draw a parallelogram. And there's like a random point O inside it. I'm gonna draw a parallelogram. And O is something. Shit. All right, then now I have to draw like a bunch of circles. Okay, so actually, can I split? this in two. Like, I'm kind of hoping that maybe I don't have to pay attention to both P and Q at the same time. Like, can I control the direction of P-O-D? P-O-C? I don't know. Let me just draw two of the circles to start. We might bring both of them in. Oh, all four in. But it would be really nice if, like, I could compute the direction of ray P-O without having to look at Q at the same time. But just in terms of anything. I don't care in terms of what. Okay, the problem is there's so many degrees of freedom, I don't know what you're doing, Steve. Uh, guys, what if I just use complex numbers? <laughs> is that O as the origin? <laughs> and then compute. Uh, Ban. Um, like, because zero A B C D A plus C is B plus D of a symmetry, and then like, how do you compute O P? Heck of I know. Um, <laughs> I like how the URL is also encoded with rod thirteen. Um, Um, yeah, the problem is there's actually too many degrees of freedom, right? Like, I, I was saying it would be nice if I could compute it in terms of something, but there's, there's literally just like basically any five points or four. The DT is determined, but um, yeah, it's got to solve the Caesar cipher now. Um, I should draw the center of the parallelogram in, right? Okay, I'll draw the other two circles. Shift them in OPC. I'm gonna color these in two different colors so I can actually see them apart. We'll do blue. So, okay, first question, are those actually clean here? Those look clean here. Is it just this joint? Okay, well, not only do they look clean here, they actually look like they're reflections, too. Um...
Yeah, okay. Well, I'm glad I drew both of them now. <laughs> yeah, okay. I definitely shouldn't be looking at them in isolation. Really? They're, if they're reflect... Not only are they reflections, but also I'm being promised that POQ, like, you know, that angle matches. So, okay, there's, there's some stuff happening. Um... Hmm. So can I show the reflection thing just easily? It's like if I if I assume if I let P be the intersection here and I want to check something as cyclic, BQC, BOC. Well, the point is that BQC is equal to APD. So I need to show that APD is equal to BOC, which I can because that should just be angle chase, right? APD is APO, BPO, CPO. So the claim is that, yeah, okay, yeah. So the angle chase checks that the reflection does indeed lie and it's okay. Um, so that proves the part about the reflection. And now I actually feel like I shouldn't be that far because that reflection has a lot of information in it. Um, so now the PQ is some parallelogram thingy. Um, and so, oh, oh, it's a little bit of an awkward angle. Should I just draw the other? Like, I, I might as well draw the reflection, the complete the parallelogram picture, right? Oh, actually, MOQ and MOP, like, the, the, the two parallelograms are entirely, like, the whole parallelogram is similar, and in particular that means the sub-triangles are, so I don't need that, I don't need R. I just need to say that I want MOQ to be similar to something, whatever, like, MCD, and that lets me not have to think about the angle there. Um, by some spiral similarity, black magic, or whatever. Oh, okay, so maybe I could have split the angles anyways. Um, but okay, there's some spiral sim thing happening where I want M to be the spiral center of, right, all right, let, let me make sure I'm getting it right. Well, the point is MOQ, ah oh, shit, Q or QOM really, should be similar to like DCM. Wait, no, they're not, wait. Did I get the angle wrong? Is it the other one? Wait, hang on, now I'm confused. If POQ... Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm so... <laughs> Parallelograms are not similar just because they have the same angles. Like, rec not all rectangles are similar. Um, lesson learned. Uh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. Uh... Sorry, yeah, I, I, for some reason, I, I totally thought that parallelograms of the same angles are similar. They're, they're definitely not. Um, so thank God for GOG, bro. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was stupid. Oh, oh God. And I'm on video, too. Oh, no. Uh, okay, never mind. We'll have to actually do something different. Okay, so should I bring part R? R I threw away R because I was just like, I don't think this matters, but maybe I should bring it back. Um, uh. If I take this blue and this green circle, I can't do anything with that. Look at just those circles.
So POQ, it's like, I can transfer that to angle APO, right? Because AP is parallel to, or no, sorry. POQ, oh, that's the angle that I can't really transfer. Um, do I just, do I just ang angle? So direction of OQ, I can rewrite. Like, I guess the point is AP and QC are parallel, right? So angle POQ, it's like APO plus OQC or something. And then those angles add up to ABC, is that it? Like, oh God. This is this is the kind of angle chase for you which actually really care about directions of lines. Um, but yeah, PO, POQ, PO minus OQ is like PO minus AP plus AP minus QC is EQQO. Transfer the angles, you're fine. All right, that, that works. Okay, we did it. All right, wait, that, that's the failure one. Um, which one? Okay, yeah, okay, much better. Uh, okay, well, yeah, that was good. Uh, I'm glad that did not take too long. Oh, this is very cute. Um, oh, is this also your problem? <laughs> okay. This one I'll actually write up too, because I think this is easy to write up. Yeah, playing around GOG but seems like how I would expect it, <laughs> this one to come up. Actually, <laughs> this is a... Oh, I see. You got. Oh, did you get the angle before the reflection in GeoGebra? Because I feel like when I'm looking at this diagram, it's much more obvious to me that PMQ are collinear than PMQ happens to have the same angle. <laughs> That's funny. I, I'm just surprised. That, like, I feel like if I was messing around with Joji, bro, I would notice that M was the midpoint before I would notice anything about the angles. Uh... What angle did I... Oh... Oh, 
Are they for no. what, what angle did I use to check that this was cyclic? Uh This is APT, right? Yeah, yeah. The DPA, and then I split the angle. Um, My typing today is not on point. Oh my god, I'm hitting all the wrong keys. I don't feel like I want to invert because I feel like you'll kill the parallel of the rem condition. Um, like the condition that AP parallel CD and so on does not seem like it's preserved well. To finish the angle chase, we now compute angle POQ, or let's do QOP so the angle faces the same way as the diagram. QO plus Q. QC plus QCPA. QC OBC plus APO is Okay. Q problem. All right. 